What's going on? It's Pores Preps and Projects. I'm Tyler, and here I've got a three-piece leather welders combo set from Harbor Freight. Uh, Chicago Electric is the brand, and I'm going to see if we can make some finger protectors, a uh, bracer or a arm guard, and an arrow quiver, all for just under 20 bucks from what you get in this bag, and some stuff you should have laying around like some coat hangers and maybe a little bit of super glue so let's get to the build for the three pieces we need i think there's more than enough leather here to get the job done let's find out time to get to work i'm gonna put this tough side toward where the bowstring is gonna hit measuring out my forearm for the wrist guard took a sharpie and a ruler and got it to size then taking a razor blade and cutting the glove out. All right, starting to look like something. Just pulling the liner out of the glove sleeve and cutting it loose so it'll be easier to mess with the leather. Using a marker, I pinched up the leather to make my cut lines. Using my ruler to make some straight lines across the glove off of the marks I just made. And a razor blade to finish the job. Now that your leather is cut, take the long edge and make three holes down each side. I used a leather hole punch, but use whatever you've got. And cut the straps off the apron. Pull the strap through the holes in your wrist guard. At first here, after going back and forth, I just tied it in a knot, which you'll see. And then I have a better idea after that. Take like a three inch piece of coat hanger and bend it around like shown here. Then squeeze one end around your strap to make a hook to hook the arm guard into place. I'm gonna go through and take out these stitches to separate this really soft leather from this thicker stuff. That's what's going to go into making the quiver. Start at the end of a seam with a razor blade. Guys, this part might seem tedious, but it really doesn't take that long. I'm done. I got these three pockets right here that I'm probably going to have to take loose. So just took a pair of side cutters. Cut out all the rivets on the pockets. Little pieces of rivets removed. More stitching removal. All right, so once you got your leather all cleaned up and all the fibers taken care of, Lay out a piece of coat hanger, mashed together, where it's pretty slim, about an inch or so in on your leather, just enough to fold it around and encase the hanger into the quiver. I measured the difference between the hanger and the edge of the leather, and just split the difference on each end to have the hanger kind of sitting in the middle of the leather. Take your Dollar Tree super glue and run a line down the edge of the coat hanger just a little bit away from it so that you can fold the leather over and make a little pocket for the coat hanger to sit in. That's a little more rigid. Yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna do another one right through here. Just went a few inches up to add another coat hanger for strength. For this next coat hanger, I went ahead and used the width of my ruler all the way across the leather after getting a straight line to make a pocket for this new coat hanger to sit in. Went to the far end of my leather and took out a ruler wide strip. Throw down some more glue to complete the pocket. Right here I took a piece of strap to mock up 
how big of an opening I wanted in the quiver to find the length for my next piece of metal to cut. With my coat hanger piece for the opening of the quiver laid out, I went ahead and glued the very ends of my leather pockets over top of it to keep it from moving. On the short end, where I want my opening to be, I'm gluing in a piece of coat hanger that we're gonna bend up and make the opening of the quiver. When you got something looking about like this, you're almost ready to roll it up. Now take the end and start slowly bending it up into a circle. Go ahead and glue the two edges at the top of your quiver, and then slowly work your way down with the glue. Lightly press the two pieces together until the glue is secured on the other end of your quiver, take some glue and close it up. This will be the bottom end. After the quiver was closed up, I still had a few inches left, so I pulled what I had left on the 2x4 and went down it with a razor blade just to add a little bit of style. For the belt to go over my shoulder to attach to the quiver, I cut a couple of 1.5 inch strips out of remaining leather. Lay out some glue in the shape of a square, then attach your piece of leather for your shoulder strap. I went ahead and just tied the two straps in a knot to make it adjustable for me or anyone else who wants to use it. That's what I need off that, so three fingers. Cut out the pinky finger all the way to the cuff. Next, get rid of the thumb. Now take out the palm of the glove. Now take out the lining and cut it off at the fingertips. At this point, you should just have three fingers and about a three or four inch strip going down the back of your hand left. Make a slice down the middle of it. This you'll use to tie together to secure your finger guard. Been a long day, but finger grips, a little finger protector. Wrist guard, I think it's about time to shoot. How's it look? This is Pores, Preps, and Projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe.